Good morning gamers, it is me, Jork to Pork, and today I'm going to show you guys a brand new way to sideload apps with the use of an App Store app right here, WireGuard, without a jailbreak and without revoke on iOS 17. And the best part is this allows you to bypass any sort of three app or seven app limit that you might be used to. So let's get right into the it. The way we're going to be doing that is through Side Store, which is basically like an offshoot of Alt Store. I made a video on this a while ago, so I'm going to briefly run over on how to install Side Store. Um, and then I'll have a bit more on the bypassing the three app limit. But if you are confused at anything, go watch that other video. It's linked in the description. It'll be in the comments. It's much more in depth. So yeah. So basically you're going to want to come over to the side store page. Uh, that'll also be in the description and download these five things right here. Uh, if you're using a Mac, you won't need these two iTunes and iCloud. Obviously that's already installed. Mac is basically the exact same. You can, uh, even if you want, you can change this to be Mac. You see it's just without the other two or the other yeah, it's just without those two things right there. And you're going to want to run iTunes and iCloud. They might make you restart your computer. If you want to see what that looks like in depth, again, check out that more in-depth side store video. But yeah, you're just going to want to run these two. Then with your phone plugged into your computer with a USB cord, you're going to want to run Alt Server, which is just one of the things you just downloaded. And you're just going to run it. And it should appear in like the bottom right of your screen. If you click that like little arrow thing, you'll find it and you're just gonna find Alt Store. Um, what you actually want to do is hold Shift and then click it, and you'll see sideload.ipa, and then you just wanna send it to um, your iPhone. Uh, this IPA is the Side Store IPA, and then you're going to select now, it. Now they will then make you type in your Apple ID and password. Trust me, this is completely fine. Alt Store has millions of users world worldwide. Um, if you're conf if you're like nervous about entering your Apple ID and password, don't be, but if you really want like I don't know, like closure, you can talk to Alt Store probably on Twitter, but trust me, it's completely All safe. right, so back on my phone, you can see that side store installed. And for me, it's actually opening up probably because I already have it trusted. For you, it's gonna say like untrusted enterprise developer. So to fix that, you're gonna head into settings, general, VPN and device management, and then find your Apple ID and trust it. I have no idea why mine already is. And if you're on iOS 17, you might get a notification that's like uh, developer mode is not enabled. Uh, on iOS 17, instead of privacy, it's like privacy and security. If you click on that and then scroll all the way down, you'll see like developer mode. Just turn it on. It'll make you restart your phone. It's fine. Do that and then trust. Next, we need to do the jitterbug pair thing. This is basically how we're going to be able to use a side store without a computer. So you're going to just extract the file that you downloaded and extract. And then you're going to run the jitterbug pair application thing. Um, you're just going to run anyway. Um, and as long as you have a password, and the reason nothing happened with me is because I didn't trust my phone, so let's try this again. As long as you have a password enabled on your phone, very important, um, you will get a file right here. So then you want to right-click on that file and compress it to a zip file, and you'll get the zip file right here. And now you need to send this zip file to your phone. The best way to do that is email because it's a 7 kilobyte file, so... Email it to and yourself. literally all I did here was control C that file in the files and then go to email and control V and then you want to send it to yourself. You then want to save this zip file to your files app. You then want to find in your files and I just saved it to a folder called side. You can see I've already done this before and you want to long press and uncompress it. So you see you get that file right there. Then if we open up side store, it's going to want us to add a pairing file. So once again, you're going to go and um, find that and mine is in that folder I called side, and select it. And then if you head into settings, uh, you need to sign in with your Apple ID again. Again, it's completely safe. Then you wanna head on over to the App Store and install this app right here, WireGuard. And then uh, if you open it up, you'll see you're gonna need a configuration profile, and I already have, so I'm gonna delete this. To so get it, you can either get it from Side Store or from my very own jorktopork.com website, which we'll need in a second. Um, so yeah, let's see, where is it? Maybe if I reload the page, it'll be there. Uh, yeah, this WireGuard configuration profile, and you're just going to download it and make sure that it's in your files. And by that, I mean just hit share and then hit WireGuard, and then you're gonna hit allow and type in your password. And then we're going to, oops, we're going to click on, uh, we're gonna click on this to make it green. There we go. Then the final step in making this work is actually getting the app that allows us to bypass the um, the three app limit. So you're gonna head over to the Jork Signer page on jorktopork.com. And you can see I've got a bunch of apps here. I will be adding more. One of the ones we need though is this live container. So you're just gonna click on it and download it. 
and you will get the uh, live container IPA file. And basically what you want to do is head back into side store and click on add apps. And you want to find that um, IPA and I just changed the name of it. Uh, I will probably fix it, but you want to select it and it will load. And it does take a hot minute to load, but you're just gonna have to let it load. And you'll see live container side loads. And then we can open up live container. And then you're gonna hit up set JITless and click okay. And wait for the side store thing to load. Once it loads, we can head back into live container and click okay. And once again, wait for this to load. And finally, you can head back into live container and you are ready to sideload your apps. Now, obviously, Jork the Pork um, only supports apps that do not violate YouTube's community guidelines, so I do not at all condone the use of Live Container to download any app that bypasses any sort of paywall. I completely condemn this. Do not use Jork Hub for this. Um, but if you do have IPAs that you have dumped yourself or something like that, you can very easily download them. So I'm just gonna download this Misaka IPA. It'll install, it'll sign, and to use it, you just click on it, and then you click the play thing, and it's fine if it crashes, you're just gonna reopen it, and you can see that it'll work just fine. I think this Miska might be out of date, so yeah, the app itself, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you use it. You can also unplug your phone, and you know, as long as you keep WireGuard enabled, this will work forever, you don't actually need um, anything. Uh, if you want to change the app you're sideloading, just close out of Live Container, and then you would just select a different one, it's pretty simple. Um, make sure that you do refresh side store before the seven days are up. You just click refresh um, and it'll work as long as WireGuard is enabled. And I think that's pretty much all. If you update your phone, you will need to like redo that um, that file thing we did, you know, where you like set, you ran the thing and then you emailed it to yourself. Uh, you will need to redo that, but you know, as long as you don't update your phone, you're fine. So yeah, that's pretty much all. If you guys have any questions, be sure to comment them down below. You can now use this completely without a computer, which is really cool. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.